Oh no, I ran out of water. Well, that's all right. We'll just have to go around and... Hey, that's actually not far away at all. <laughs> I thought that was going to be so much more difficult. Oh, new idea, not the river again. No way, have we stumbled on another idea? Voda has a new idea. Voda thinks that there's a more convenient source of water just underground. What? All right, so Voda's hanging over at the bonfire. We should definitely go check that out because a more convenient source of water sounds like a great thing to uh, be able to water some of the friendships in the village. Okay, that was kind of corny, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to our life here in Roots of Pacha, where we are currently going through and trying to clear out some of the fields so that we can try to grow plenty of crops to take care of the village. I really want everybody to be able to like survive. That sounds very important to me. They're our found family after all. There we go. And it feels fantastic to know that the work that we're doing might really contribute to making a difference in basically everybody's survival. So I don't mind getting really very exhausted, to be honest, <laughs> going through the fields and trying to clear enough spots to be able to plant the seeds, especially because that means that the clan totally gives me permission to wander off and go gather seeds from the wilds, which is really fun. All right, let's get a few more of these and then I wonder, can I eat this mushroom? Is that is that an option I have in life? Oh, I can! So I can eat it or I can... <laughs> I love how you can just like, dance break, dance break, na -na 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 -na, dance break. Like your options in life should always be to have a little dance. That's actually really adorable. All right, how much is five stamina? Plus or minus five stamina. Oh, so sometimes... Sometimes it gives you stamina and sometimes it doesn't. Wow, I'm gonna have to remember that because I feel like we got a little bit gypped there. Oops, okay. All right, let's clear these out of the way. And I'm getting a little tired, so let's make sure that we're going and talking to some of the other villagers before they go to bed. Uh-oh, did everyone go to bed? Oh, thank goodness they didn't. All right, let's move, let's move, let's move. Uh-oh, <laughs> wait, 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 I think I missed Voda. All right, Voda, where are you now? Okay, she's up in her house. So let's hurry, because the sooner we can find out what her new idea is, the sooner we can try to go ahead and help the entire clan out. Oh, look at this. She's at home with her family. <gasps> look at how they have a little shrine with plants on the inside. That is so amazing. Taking trips to the river to refill our water skins gets tiring. While taking a nap, I heard the sound of water underground. I wonder if there's a way to reach it. Oh, that's so cool. Voda wants to research the more convenient uh, underwater, or underground water. There we go. So if we get 20 stones for her, then she'll be able to go ahead and work on this idea. I'm on it, Voda. Also, how you doing, Jack? It took me a while to get Oka's wolves comfortable with our fire. Okay, okay. And then also when it comes to talking to the villagers, or excuse me, when it comes to talking to our, our clan members, it looks like you get the boost for friendship by talking to them once a week. And otherwise, we can just kind of see what they're up to, not have to worry too much. Hey, Garrick. It's nice to finally see green again. Yes, we were talking about that earlier. Wow, look how pretty this is. Oh, so this is where our healer works. Oh, we can do an exchange. I'm still collecting herbs. Give me a few days to organize them. Oh, that's so cool. So that's how we can kind of exchange the the reputation that we build up by contributing things for items that our clan mates actually make. This land makes it so I can keep my medicine box pretty stocked. Yes, yes, we talked about that last time. Okay, so let's go ahead. And if it's getting so late already, if we don't go to bed in time, apparently we'll get really, really exhausted. So we want to be cautious about that. But otherwise, there does seem to be something special about this land. Everybody's just staying up late talking around the fire. It's really, really kind of cozy, isn't it? If any animal gives you trouble, let me know. I'll talk with them. Wow. Fear, fishing is a great way uh, to learn patience. And, uh, Ioli, it's so nice to finally see spring, uh, what, what spring is like here. There we go. So those are our night owls, it seems. I wonder if some people stay in bed longer than others. We'll have to find out. Also, I think my house is up here. Yes, there's the, there's our, our little carrots. Thank goodness. All right. Hey, Grandpa. Hey, Grandma's already asleep. 
I may be old, but my mind, yes, yes. All right, that's cute. Oh, whoa, he put the fire out. Okay, I, I, can, I can take a message. All right, let's go to sleep for the day. We contributed a lot today. I really feel like we did. So the clan's prosperity has grown a lot. And hey, 121 of that is our contribution. I'm really proud of us. Maybe we'll catch more fish. That seems like it's definitely an easy way to really, really help the tribe out right now. Look at that. New smoke signals. Did somebody have another idea? Oka finished working on an idea. Oka learned a way to get the animals to trust us from an old story. That's so cool. Look how many. <laughs> Our tribe is just full of new ideas and bursting with creativity, possibly inspired by being here in this new land. Uh, so, shallow waters, Freer's totem is a lot to bear. And then working together. Tari wants to thank you for contributing to the clan. All right, well, there's at least a couple of the active smoke signals. That's such a cute way to say that they're your tasks. And just like I thought, grandma and grandpa are staying in bed a little longer. And being the, yes, more carrot seeds. Being the young whippersnapper that we are, <laughs> who can dance with my plants in the morning. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and we are actually going to do a little bit of watering for our carrots. And I wonder if I have the energy, I'm, oh, see, we're out of water again. If I have the energy, I might want to spend a bit of time gathering up some rocks because that will actually help out with that like underwater quest or the underground, under, underground water quest. There we go. <laughs> Trying to say that five times fast is a little tricky. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, hold up. Hold on. Is this? <gasps> it's one of the flowers. Now I have two of those so I can give one away as a gift. Oh, that's so exciting. I, I just really wanted to be careful with that Datura flower because that's what grandma said she put in for her rite of passage as an offering to the Pacha tree. Oh, and then let's see. I think I have some more seeds. Yeah, didn't I just get one whole carrot seed? Blink. There we go. We'll water that one. And then let's switch over to our hand axe. Oh, wow. I keep forgetting I have a torch. Haven't really had to use it yet. And can I destroy any of these rocks? Oh, I can. What about this one? Oh, I can. Okay. One, two. All right. Maybe if we go ahead and gather these, we'll get ahead just a touch. And this can clearly only only lead to good things, I hope. Oh, and we can actually make the paths because we learned on the very first day how to go ahead and make paths. All right, just two more. There. Hey, that didn't actually use up as much of my stamina as I thought it would. Good morning, Grandpa. Even at my age, I still look forward to the clan festivals. <laughs> I feel like as I would get older, I would look forward to the festivals as long as they, they felt fun and special. As you venture around the land, keep an eye out for Flint. Got it, Acre. Maybe we'll try to go to the cave at some point soon. Uh, oh, hey! There we go! Eh, eh. Alright, there we are. Oka, I was right! Tet told me the story again. Our ancestors imitated birds to get closer to their prey. With the right whistles, the animals wouldn't run. This made me think of our flutes, the ones we use for rituals and dances. Some of them sound like birds, too. I asked Acre to make this special flute. I'm sure it'll work. <gasps> oh, we're so happy! Why don't you go and try to make some new friends? Absolutely! So animal friendship, Oka has finished this idea. Approach a wild animal and try to interact with it. Also, what is with that boar? <gasps> if I saw that in the forest, it would be very low on the list of things that I would want to approach with a, a little flute to try to like very badly play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star as though I was back like trying to play the recorder in kindergarten. <laughs> it would be, I would, I would really think that would be one of the animals that I'd be like, you know what? One of the best ways to respect wildlife is personal space. But apparently we can. Once a day, I tune with the animal by playing the mini game until all notes are filled. Once fully attuned, oh, there's another, okay, that boar is adorable. I would love to be able to get that one. Once fully attuned, more actions will be available, such as talking, which will increase your friendship with them. 
Eventually, you'll be able to invite wild animals to live in the fields, while others can live in your house. You can also play the flute in a radius by not targeting a specific animal. They'll react depending on their status. Wild animals will show if they recognize you, and fully attuned animals will increase their friendship. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, that's really amazing. Now I want my little flute. Oh, we have our flute. Okay, okay. And it looks like, does the flute have like four? It looks like the flute only has like four chances every day. Has Ada said anything to you about me? Not that I care. <laughs> the kids are being kids. What are you carrying? Is that a snake? I'm, I might never hit the target in training. War must be so annoyed. Annoyed even. Oh, and here's, oh, hey, are we dancing? Bra is set on becoming a hunter. I wish he'd try to become something else. Oh my gosh, can I dance with you? Uh, I make her so mad. She's the only person that I have asked to dance with. And both times, she has not been amused. All right, let's go into the forest and see if we can play a song of friendship for potentially a gigantic boar. <laughs> but I'd be willing to start, you know, a little lower on the scale. My, I have a big... You know, I, I'm open to a lot of things, like maybe bunnies. Hey, all right, wild pine cone. Oh, cool, so it can give you plus or minus stamina. Pine nuts can make a dish outstanding. The cone makes cute decorations too. Neat, so let's collect some of these. I don't know if you can actually plant these in our fields, but I guess that would be really good to give potentially as gifts. All right, let's gather a few more. Oh, I love how I have to just like push my way through the pine forest to reach all of the pine cones. There's our bunnies! Okay, okay, so. Oh, how fun! Oh my gosh, I love that! I love that you can go ahead and you can, it's Dust Bunny! Okay, let's play for Dust Bunny again. Oh, it's their little mini game! Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, okay, I think you're just supposed to, like, as they play music. Oh, I see! Okay, so you want to go ahead. Oh, that's so cute! That's so cute! Oh my gosh! That's... I am totally in love with this. So you can, we can attune with Dust Bunny twice. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing, little one, let me try again. Oh wait, we've already played music today. Try again tomorrow. Okay, got it. I am so on this. Hey, hey, what about Carrot Hop? Carrot Hop, you want me to go ahead and play music now that I figured it out? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. This music's gonna be stuck in my head forever. <laughs> so cute! We got two hearts with Carrot Hop because I figured it out now. All right, all right. Well, as much fun as it is to attune with the bunnies, maybe we'll go ahead and we'll wander a little further afield since we have already... Okay, uh, can, I, can I smack this tree somehow? I don't want to, but I'm curious. Because it's, it's really pretty. I don't really want to cut it down. But I'm really wondering... Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to use my, my energy for other things. I was just really wondering if maybe it could do something important for the clan. Like give me some sort of, I don't know, plant I could put inside of... Uh, put inside of the, the fields, perhaps? Dang, these are a lot of pine cones. I guess collecting wild pine cones is like apropos for me, but maybe it's not the most helpful thing for the clan. I've had the strangest dream. I need to meditate on it. Hmm. I don't know if I am 100% happy that like the guy in charge of some of the important things of our clan feels like that. All right, that needs a few days. Oh, hey, the wolves sneak out at night to go play with the forest wolves. <laughs> Okay, are you telling me we're gonna see some uh, some wolf pups around here? That's hilarious. I'm trying to remember. I think at least a couple of our wolves are female, but maybe I'm wrong. In fact, I think I can check, like with the the animals. Yeah. Okay. So Belki uh, is male, and so is Kessler, and Skara is actually female. 
Huh. I think that that was a hint that we might stumble on some wolf pups at some point, and I am totally fine with that. All right, still pretty early in the day, too. The clan has a long way to go. Grob is really worried about stuff. All right, let's grab this. I mean, come on, Grob, look at all the pine cones I got. I might be able to yeet them in, either give them away as gifts, or I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and drop them into the clan's uh, contribution box. It may seem silly, like who would need to work with a bunch of pine cones, but maybe they can be used in food. <gasps> New plants, and there's the boars. Okay, I take it back, that baby piglet is so cute. Okay, I, I, I don't know. Okay, that's all right, that's all right. Totally not gonna aggravate the parents. I'd prefer not to do that. There's a bunch of carrot seeds over here. <gasps> Guys, look at this tiny baby boar. It's so cute. Hello, little one. Oh, I kind of want to give you a little name, but I don't even know what I would name you yet. It's so cute. It looks like a little pebble just rolling around. It probably it probably would be a lot bigger in the future, but I kind of feel like naming it Pebble if it'll hold still. Wait, is there something? <gasps> There's a little boar eating in here. Okay, that's adorable. That's absolutely precious. I have no idea what I'm going to name you, little one. A little chocolate boar. Oh, and he's just like eating a whole bunch of the food. Okay, I already have a bunny named Potato. Hmm, <laughs> something to do, something to do with digging around and eating yummy food. Mole, maybe? Little mole? I mean, that's kind of adorable. All right, we're gonna go with mole. I'm going to not freak out <laughs> that all of the animals are around me. Let's try maybe just straight up playing the flute. Okay, not ready. I'm just trying to, okay. What if I just want to see how this works? So playing the flute, I think, lets me know what the animals think of me. Should I try to? Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna risk it for the biscuits. Let's grab this beautiful like copper-looking boar. Oh, it has a different song. Oh man. This is so cute. That was so cute. That was so cute. I love her. She just calmly accepted my music, probably because she's huge and has no reason not to. And is this a little green boar? Oh my goodness, it is. It's a camouflage boar. It's a little green boar. Okay, little green camouflage boar. I kind of like maybe moss pig. <laughs> okay, that would be too silly. But I sort of like a moss tusk, um, moss snout, like moss mud. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Like moss pig is kind of cute, to be honest. <laughs> But I feel like it needs a cuter name. All right, and I, you guys know how much I love moss. Moss fern? Okay, that's actually a really awesome name. I might want to save that for something else, but moss hoof? No. Uh, hmm. Tuft. Moss tuft. I like it. Moss tuft. There we go. And let's go ahead and we'll try a tuning for this baby. I wonder if babies are easier. Oh, cute. Na, na, na. I'm gonna get all of this music stuck in my head because it's so cute. Oh, that's precious. You guys! <laughs> okay, yeah, I really, really love that. Can I reach? Okay, I can't reach that. All right, let's switch over to our hand axe. Uh, let's, oh, hey, yeah, look at this. The shaman's meditating with a bunch of wild boars over here. Brave man. The day is only a little under or yeah a little one over half done <gasps> wow look at that view <laughs> but even though the day may be half done and there's spotty dotty adorable rams <laughs> oh my gosh and we just discovered actual potatoes i am so happy right now even though that is the case we still have plenty that we can go ahead and do and plenty that we can explore. So I think I'm going to catch my breath for just a minute. <gasps> Mushrooms! 
especially because clearly there's a lot more to discover. And I will catch up with you guys as we continue to explore the wilds that provide so much to our clan together next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.